prepare for the second coming. He's not coming alone. Following two years of success as the mercenary Deadpool, Wade Wilson experiences a setback when he fails to eliminate a target on his anniversary with his girlfriend Vanessa. Upon returning to his apartment with his friend Dopender, who expresses a desire to become an assassin like Wade, Wade declines Dopender's offer. Later that evening, following Wade and Vanessa's decision to begin a family and enjoying a romantic night watching Yentl, the individual Wade couldn't eliminate locates them and tragically ends Vanessa's life. Driven by grief and rage, Wade retaliates by taking the man's life. Consumed by guilt over Vanessa's death, Wade tries to end his own life six weeks later by detonating explosives. Despite his attempt, Wade has a vision of Vanessa in the afterlife. Miraculously, Colossus manages to reassemble the fragments of Wade's body. In the aftermath, Wade is left with only a skee-ball token, an emotional reminder of their anniversary, as his sole keepsake from Vanessa. Wade, who is recovering at the X-Mansion, agrees to join the X-Men as part of his healing process. He, Colossus, and Negasonic Teenage Warhead respond to a standoff between authorities and the unstable young mutant named Russell Collins at an orphanage dubbed the Mutant Reducation Center. Collins refers to himself as Fire Fist, which triggers Wade. But Wade soon realizes Collins has been abused by the orphanage staff and kills one of the staff members. Colossus prevents him from killing anyone else, and Wade and Collins are apprehended by the DMC, a government agency that regulates mutants. Meanwhile, Cable, a cybernetic soldier from the future whose family is murdered by an older Collins, travels back in time to kill the boy before Collins turns into a killer. Cable infiltrates the icebox and confronts Collins. Wade's collar is damaged during the chaos, restoring his ability to regenerate and fight cancer. He joins the battle against Cable. During the altercation, Cable takes Vanessa's token, prompting Wade to expel both himself and Cable from the prison. However, Collins overhears Wade dismissing any concern for the young mutant. Despite being on the verge of death again, Wade has another vision of Vanessa, who persuades him to help Collins. Wade wakes up, realizing his new mission is to help Collins. As events unfold in the prison, orders are issued for Collins and other inmates to be transferred to another facility. While awaiting transportation, Collins manages to form a bond with the prison's formidable inmate, Juggernaut. Wade holds auditions for a new team called X-Force, which will break Collins out of a prison transfer convoy and defend him against Cable. The team launches its assault on the convoy by parachuting from a plane, but all of the members die during the landing except Wade and the Lucky Domino, whose uncanny luck ensures her survival multiple times as she pursues the convoy. Meanwhile, in the midst of the battle with Cable, Collins releases Juggernaut, who pledges to aid Collins in avenging the abusive orphanage headmaster. Juggernaut obliterates the convoy, facilitating his and Collins' escape after grabbing Wade and tearing him in half. Wade is compelled to spend several days with Al recuperating and allowing the lower portion of his body to heal. Cable pays a visit to Wade and Al's home, proposing a collaboration with Wade and Domino to prevent Collins from committing his first murder, a watershed moment that will shape him into the killer he becomes. Cable agrees to give Wade a chance to persuade Collins to change course. However, their efforts at the orphanage fall apart when Juggernaut overpowers them, and Collins attacks the headmaster. Eventually, Colossus, who was initially hesitant to help Wade due to his violent methods, steps in to divert Juggernaut's attention. When Wade's attempts to reason with Collins fail, Cable turns to shooting at the young mutant. Wade leaps in front of the bullet while wearing the icebox collar, resulting in his death and reunion with Vanessa in the afterlife. After seeing Wade's selfless act, Collins decides not to kill the headmaster, changing the future and ensuring Cable's family's safety. Despite the fact that his time travel device is about to run out of charge, 
and he needs to reunite with his family. Cable decides to use it to travel back a few minutes. He places Vanessa's token in front of Wade's heart, just as Wade takes the bullet for Collins. The token acts as a shield, protecting Wade. Despite Collins' change of heart, the headmaster dies when Dopender runs him over with his taxi. In a scene midway through the credits, Negasonic Teenage Warhead and her girlfriend Yukio fix Cable's time travel device for Wade. Utilizing it, Wade intervenes to preserve the lives of Vanessa and X-Force member Peter, eliminates the incarnation of Deadpool from X-Men Origins, Wolverine, and prevents actor Ryan Reynolds from taking on the role in the movie Green Lantern. Additionally, Wade briefly entertains the notion of assassinating infant Adolf Hitler, but ultimately decides against it. Thanks for watching. To catch all the latest from us, subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified as soon as a new video drops. We'll see you in the next one.